I'm embarrassed that these violations occurred at Georgia Tech. They do not align with our values of putting student athletes first and playing by the rules. Prepared text from the Georgia Tech Athletics Director, Todd Stansbury today. Tech men's basketball is a mess. All this after the NCAA imposed a four-year probation on the program. Now, it also banned the Yellow Jackets from the 2020 postseason. In the upcoming season, these penalties all stem back from violations that included benefits to players from boosters and a coach providing money and visits to a strip club. Strip clubs, plural, for recruits. So let's see how we got to this mess. It all started back in November of 2017 when former friend Ron Bell admitted to media uh, reporters that he gave players benefits. In February of 2018, Bell and his girlfriend filed a sexual lawsuit against Josh Pastner, the head basketball coach of Georgia Tech. It was later dropped, and then Bell was charged with false information to police and providing an, a, a fraud scheme, basically. So in all of this, details about a former assistant coach did come out. In March of 2019, the coach provided cash to a high-profile recruit and then took him to a strip club. Then today, the penalties against the program. Are you following this so far? And even though the head coach, Josh Pastner, is not named in the violations, all of this... Every bit of it happened under his watch, but the athletic director is defending him. I continue to support Josh as our men's basketball coach. After our independent investigation that, well, Josh did uh, uh, show poor judgment, that he does take uh, compliance very seriously. Georgia Tech has 10 days to appeal. Stansbury said he feels certain punishments against the student athletes, they went too far. And he may appeal soon for a list of all the penalties. You can check it out. There are many. Winning an appeal has about that much chance. You can go to 11alive.com. Mm.